For almost nine months, Desiree, Oso, and I have been living in and exploring the small island nation of Malta in the middle of the Mediterranean. We initially came here as a place to have our baby, Isabella. Then for months, it became our home base as we prepared our boat, Atticus 2, to be able to sustain our new family while living off grid. And for the last couple weeks, we've been testing those systems while exploring the most remote corners of these beautiful islands. Now we were hoping to leave Malta months ago to continue on our journey around the world, but Isabella was diagnosed with some pretty serious medical conditions, and we've had dozens of medical appointments that have kept us from sailing away. This week is Isabella's final medical appointment in Malta, so it is finally time for us to say our last goodbyes to this place that has completely changed our lives. Whoa. Dang, this is tight. I think I'm just gonna have to use my hand. I mean, this has gotta be 50 feet, something like that. But Isabella's medical future is far from certain, and we are left balancing the excitement of finally getting underway with the fear of what might come of her precarious condition. It's gonna be okay. Just uh. gotta breathe. You ready to rock, lady? Pound it. All right, good morning. We are off on a dinghy trip. We are heading to Marsa Scala, which is just under three miles away, so it's gonna be a bit of a trek. We're heading off to get my Father's Day present, which I am super stoked about. First Father's Day, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Permission to take off, Captain? Permission granted. <laughs> Okay, and this is not gonna work out because the anchorage was so calm and so cool. And then we came around the corner and like there's a decent chop and we're going right into the wind. And we could do it if we like needed to, but it's just not very pleasant, you know? It's not like, woo, adventure! Hooray! Like, adventure! <laughs> well, change of plan, lady. We're just gonna play on the beach while dad goes and buys his own <laughs> Father's Day present. My Father's Day present, first Father's Day present ever is going to be an inflatable kayak and I'm here at Ritz Kayaks in Marsa Scala in Malta. I've wanted an inflatable kayak for years. I'm just super pumped to finally pull the trigger. All right, hey man, so this is Ryan from Ritz Kayaks. He's gonna show us around and sure thing. show us what we're looking for. I mean, basically, yeah. I wanna be able to take two people, a baby, and a dog. And ideally, I'd like to go long distances and like kind of fast. The best would be Gumotex, something like this. This is such a European brand from Czech Republic. So we did end up buying the Sea Wave. Got it back here. And uh, Sara is helping me carry everything Hi, down to the water. <laughs> Thank you, Sara, I appreciate it. Okay, she floats? Yeah, floats. <laughs> nice, okay. Again, thank you very thank much, much for your help, Thanks dude. For coming. I thank appreciate you. it. Let's see how I do here. Well, bump first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'm in. Okay, thanks guys. See you. See ya, I'm off. If I get lost at sea, I really appreciate your help. <laughs> dude, this thing is so fast, it's crazy. It's so stable. It tracks so well. Oh man, I'm so freaking pumped about this. Definitely the coolest Father's Day present I could have imagined. This is exactly what I wanted this bad boy for. Be able to like cruise into these beautiful spots, be able to go anywhere, explore anything on my own or with Desiree, with the family and just get some exercise and it's just the freedom, you know what I mean? One bummer about today is somehow the wind was going against us really strong when we tried to get to Marsa Scala in the dinghy. Now the wind is against me going that way. It's probably gonna be another 45 minutes, hour or something like that for me to get back to the boat. And I'm not exactly in kayaking shape, so this is gonna be a challenge. Whew, time for me to take a breather. I'm getting pretty tired. I need to exercise more. Okay, uh, that's enough of a break. We got some more uh, distance to cover before I totally give up. Ooh. 
Oh, okay. Atticus is coming into sight. I might take one last breather before we get there. It was very fun and very exhausting. Say happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> well, the wind is gonna shift this evening and this anchorage is no longer gonna be a good spot to be. So the plan is we're gonna head to Grand Harbor Marina and we're gonna spend this last week in the marina. But first, I'm gonna flush the outboard. I've got this fancy little attachment that I can screw into the outboard and then I can use my sweet garden hose over here, which might sound not like a big deal, but on Atticus 1, I could have never dreamed of doing that. That is going to increase the longevity of that outboard so much. This garden hose is actually one of the best improvements of all of the projects that we did to the boat. The ability to keep the cockpit clean, wash the solar panels, and then to have enough fresh water to do it when we're living off grid is just awesome. Okay, I think this is gonna be us right here. Be a little closer to the top. How are we looking on the bow? How much room do we have? Got more room, keep going, keep going. Okay. Good? Okay. Okay, so we are docked. We are back at Grand Harbor Marina. Isabella has been freaking out for the last like 15 minutes as we've been coming in. She's like, I can't believe what you did to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're free. Let's put you to bed, lady. Okay. All right. See ya. Bye. So we are off to do the thing that has kept us here in Malta for the last month, basically. Ever since we got out of the boatyard, we have been more or less ready to continue on our way to start sailing again to head to Greece. But we didn't want to leave Malta quite yet because we are trying to schedule Isabella appointments at the Boston Children's Hospital in the United States to kind of figure out the severity of her face syndrome and her arterial malformations that she's got. They wanted us to get an MRI, MRA, and CT scan before we can schedule any appointments. And the earliest that we could get those scans done here in Malta was a month after we had found out that we needed these scans. So long story short, we have been exploring more of Malta than we thought we would, all in an attempt to basically wait for these scans to be able to get done. So we're off to go do that today at the hospital. We're both nervous, but Desiree is very nervous <laughs> yeah. because to do these scans, they're gonna have to put Isabella under. So they've got to do general anesthetic. Yes, I'm very nervous. Ugh, I didn't sleep like, I think I slept maybe three hours last night. I don't know why the word sedation comes up. I just get all like flustered and nervous. Okay, uh. just gotta breathe. <laughs> breathe deep, my little bubble butt. Okay? Good baby. Good job. Okay, so she's in there. You okay? Yeah, I'm just nervous. I know it's so silly, but I just like seeing her little eyes close, you know? Um, it's gonna be okay. It's so good. It's okay. I love you. I don't know, baby. <laughs> right, you just lay down. Okay. Just 
How's the patient, buddy? She's like, really out of it. We're not allowed to feed her yet. So she's a little bit confused why I'm not feeding her. Are you feeling better? I feel so much better. Oh my gosh. So Isabella is six months old now, and I've been really enjoying fatherhood. And whether it's been out at sea or at anchor, it's been really cool and really rewarding raising this chubby little baby on this boat. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Chubster. But I can definitely say it's also been stressful and at times downright exhausting. And something that's helped me a lot is actually the sponsor of today's video, AG1. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. Personally, AG1 makes me feel energized in a way that's sustained throughout the day. I also feel like it improves my focus and makes me feel less stressed. AG1 is a science-driven formulation of vitamins probiotics, and whole food sourced nutrients that aid your brain, gut, and immune system. Did you know that, baby? So click on the link in the description below to get one free year's supply of AG, vitamin D3, and K2, as well as five free travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. So definitely click on the link below. You will not regret it. Right, baby? We love AG1. Tell the people. You got to tell them. Go ahead and buy some AG1. Okay, buddy, you guys are going up here. Isabella, you ready to go for a kayak ride? Here you go. You ready to rock? Boom, let's do this. Okay, hand me the package. <laughs> Dad loves using that handle. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, so come. Good boy. Good job, buddy. You know what this kayak makes me think? It's so clear for whatever reason that we're a family of four now, you know? Like mm. everything fits in this little kayak, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, you can use your paddle now. What do you think, bud? It's really cool. I can't believe how fast it is. Yeah. It feels like I'm just cutting through the water. What do you think, baby? This is nice. Baby has fallen asleep. <laughs> All right, well, I decided to commit to get across the channel. And of course, the high-speed ferry's coming in right now. So it's time to move. Getting this tired. is gonna be my workout for the day, for sure. <laughs> We're gonna make it. Yeah. But I need to keep going. <laughs> Too bad this wasn't a two-person kayak <laughs> with two capable adults. I'm on baby duty right now, buddy, sorry. All right, buddy, you did it. Oh, this cave is called like Horse Cave, right? Horse Cave? Yeah, remember, because there's a, there's a horse painted on the rock. Good morning, baby. She woke up just in time for the cave. This is gonna blow your mind, baby. I love how the water reflects on the stone and all the stone is kind of like these geometric shapes. You see those stairs also? Yeah, I know. I think you can cliff jump from right here. It's so quiet back here, you know? Yeah, man, this is so cool. It's literally cool. <laughs> I can't believe this is under Valletta. Like yeah. this is under the capital Weird. of Malta right now. There are a bunch of people just walking on top of us right now. Yeah. Does this go through? Oh, oh shit. my Look god! At that. What? Whoa! Dang, this is tight. I think I'm just gonna have to use my hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look. It goes right out the other side. Whoa! Wow. What? That was awesome. Yeah. That what, was dude, really this, cool. This harbor is so beautiful, man. I yeah. can't believe it. Okay. Well, we came back into the cave, and I want to try to climb these stairs and maybe cliff jump inside a cave. How cool is that? Cave cliff jumping. Bro, bro, 
Yeah, Kimmy, he is. Kimmy, He's like, on, don't leave me. Sorry, Bozo. You, you would not like this because you wouldn't like getting down. Might he would get up himself. No, no. Oh my gosh. Dog down. <laughs> Grind him. You like it up here, buddy? Was it worth falling in the water? You want to go up those stairs? Come on, let's go. Nice. Dude, this is super cool. Definitely the most epic cave cliff jumping spot ever. Oh, buddy. That's a long way down. I'm definitely doing the pansy jump. I'm going down, going down a level. <laughs> I mean, this has got to be 50 feet, something like that. All right, Oso, we're going down to the pansy level. There's no shame in that. Okay, this is more my speed. I think I can do this. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, here we go. Oh, that feels really good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I would highly recommend jumping in. Also, don't do it. Well, this morning we decided to get out and have a little fun because we are celebrating finally receiving the uh, MRI and CT images from the hospital. So now we can shoot those over to the Boston Children's Hospital and then we can start planning Issa's trip to the United States where she's gonna see a slew of specialists to help us kind of figure out what her treatment will be for face syndrome going forward. But it also means that we can leave Malta. We're gonna wait for the next weather window and we'll be able to sail to Sicily, which is just so exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. This is a cool way to kind of say goodbye to Malta too, you know? This area really has been something special for us. It's so beautiful, it's so different from anything I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And the fact that we got to live amongst these giant structures and all this history and amazing architecture, that's been really cool to do that for, what, eight months? And now I feel like we're leaving as completely different people. We're this new like family unit that feels really good and solid, but also I feel really comfortable with Malta. I right, feel like, like we, we really, really it, got you know. to know it. Yeah. We brought a Maltese stowaway. Yeah. That's, that's you. Right. <laughs> we are cooling down in the middle of the day. Yeah. It's so hot right now. I'm excited to get back out of anchor and on the move. She's been having a hard time sleeping in the middle of the day in the heat. So this kind of gets her tired and then also gets her cool. I'm definitely spraying you down, yeah. buddy. You don't have a choice oh, here. Oh God, it's gonna be so cold. Ready? Here oh, we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that how it feels like, Issa? That sure feels good, get this side. <laughs> he got me, <laughs> he got me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, buddy, last night in Malta, how do you feel? I feel really ready. Yeah. yeah, I feel really excited about what's ahead. I really feel like we got to know Malta in a really cool way, you know? I don't know, you look around, there's all these beautiful buildings lit up, and it's just cool that we got to call this our backyard for almost nine months. So I feel lucky that we were here. I feel like we grew a lot. I feel like I'm a different person. I don't know why. I feel like I'm more excited than, than normal hmm. about casting the lines and heading off. I mean, I'm a little surprised because in the past you have often only appreciated being in motion once it's began. Yeah. And you're always a little resistant, but this time you are you seem genuinely really excited. Do you think it's because of Issa? Yeah, I do. I'm just so excited to show her the world really, you know, and experience it with her. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like it just like lit a spark under my butt to like... <laughs> I don't think that's the expression. What's the expression? Light a fire. Light a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is so beautiful and like perfect it feels like and it feels like the perfect time to leave because of that because mm -hmm. we're leaving on a high. That experience of just going from Anchorage to Anchorage there's just something about just living that way and like here it is it's hot out I don't have a shirt on I've taken like four showers mm -hmm. today to try to keep cool. It's like I'm excited to be a part of the world in that way. Do you feel like you have a spark in your butt? Yeah, I do. Do you think Issa put it there? <laughs> oh, so did you put the spark in my butt? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, it is 5 a.m. and I am all set to go. I'm actually gonna try to get us underway without Desiree and Isabella having to really wake up. I'm gonna give the marina a call, see if a uh, couple of guys could come give me a hand with lines. Okay, thank you very much, man, appreciate it. Freaking perfect out here. Oh my God, it's blowing like nine knots. Just forward of the beam. This is very, very, very nice, man. This feels so stinking good. Like it's so nice out. Sun's still not up yet. It's, it's warm. I was just thinking we've done some sailing. We've done some moving around in this last month but this is the first time that we've pointed the bow at the horizon in nine months. I don't know, there's like this sense of hope. It's like it's worth it to keep moving forward. There's something out there that you haven't seen yet, that you should see, that's worth pursuing, you know? Like these moments I feel like are some of my favorite moments of everything that we do. 